Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clara and in today's video I'm going to be making two more Dollar Tree DIYs for you guys. So let's get started. Okay and these are the materials that we're going to be using for this project. So you're going to want six of these wall art that look like this and we are going to be removing the letters. So for that you're going to want a small razor blade. You're gonna want some handy strip or paint stripper that looks like this. And I already had this on hand, that is why I'm gonna go ahead and just use it, just to make things easier to remove the letters. But if you don't have this or don't wanna spend the money on it, you can use the nail polish remover from the Dollar Tree. Just keep in mind that it will take longer to remove the letters. You're gonna want some E6000 and some hot glue to glue the frames together. Okay, so I went ahead and put some gloves on just because I'm gonna be using that paint stripper and you do wanna use gloves with this because this can burn your skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that over the letters. And as you can see, it's coming right off already. I'm just gonna be doing one because I already removed the ones from all these. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And now with my small razor blade, I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing the paint. And I'll show you up close how easy that comes off. Now that I've removed my letters, I'm going to go ahead and just give this um, a good rinse with some hot soapy water, and then I will start gluing the picture frames together. All right, and this is how my picture frame looks like now that I've removed the letters from it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and align the picture frames together and start gluing. All right, so now our next step is, is we're gonna go ahead and align the picture frames side by side. And you're gonna wanna make sure that these are nice and straight and then kind of fix them around until they look So like this one, this kind of has like a little gap, so I'm gonna turn it around, and then that looks better. If not, then I can always grab another picture frame and then just kind of play around with them until you see which one aligns best with each other. And now that I have all my picture frames aligned, I'm gonna go ahead and start hot gluing and using the E6000 to glue them together. And the reason why I'm using E6000 and hot glue is so that the E6000 will secure them together, but the hot glue will help them stick immediately because it takes the E6000 a few minutes to dry. So now that I've added my E6000 and hot glue, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this part together. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and add some pressure to it. enough of the hot glue because that's what is going to keep it sticking together because that dries super fast stay here. Let's stay. and the good thing about these is that it has like a super thick frame so it's enough glue like to secure them together 
And then also if you wanted like to make this more secure, you can go ahead and add like popsicle sticks to the back of them, like to secure it a little more. All right, and that is how that looks after everything has been glued together. These are the materials that we're gonna be using for this project, and we are gonna be making a garland that looks like this one. So the first thing you're gonna want is some of these glitter-based fillers that look like this. And I did find these in the Valentine section. You're gonna want some of these heart picks that look like this. Some of this baker's twine. And I did find this in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. And we are just gonna be using the top one here, the one that has the red and white. Scissors. And then a needle to run the the string through the little styrofoam balls and the little styrofoam heart. And then and then you're gonna want one of these cheer pom-poms. So you're gonna wanna start off with the baker's twine and the needle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run it through the little small tiny hole of the needle. Okay, so now that you've run the Baker's twine through the needle. We're gonna go ahead and make a knot. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off. So I already went ahead and made a previous one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this in front of me and then just copy the pattern. And now with the little pom-poms, I'm gonna go ahead and just rip these off and then tie them. And I'm just gonna continue the same pattern until I'm done. And from the picks, I only went ahead and used three of them. And you can make this as long as you want. I'm just making shorter ones because I'm gonna be using it to run it across the little window we just made. All right, so now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and then just kind of space everything just a little bit so they're not so close together. And like I said, you can go ahead and leave this as long as you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine shorter. And the Dollar Tree also had pink hearts like these, so if you wanna add pink, a touch of pink in here, that would look really pretty as well. And this is the end result of this project. Alrighty guys, and that's gonna be the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell button 
so that you do get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys all on my next one. Bye.